And here we go. My player mode, NBA 2K12. I'm already, like, in the playoffs already. Like, I'm going into game three of the first round of the playoffs. Here's some of my stats that I've racked up, like, up until now. You know what I mean? Like, you're probably wondering why I haven't put up any my uh, my player games. It's like, I'm really not a fan of my player, and I'm not good at it. Well, I'm okay at it, I guess. I'm just not real good at it. Look at all these awards I've won. Who you know in his rookie year could win rookie of the year, MVP, fucking NBA first team, defensive first team, leader in assists, steals, scoring. Like, I was the leader in every category imaginable, basically. I was bossing. And look at my shoes. I call them the bosses because they look so boss-like. And here is game three. It's basically going to be all just like clips and shit like I did a lot of editing to these or whatever so it's more or less like why I it took me so long to put up my player games I feel like if you're not putting up ranked matches or like the hardest difficulty games or whatever it's like no point really right now I'm playing on uh, superstar mode so that's like the one right below Hall of Fame every time I try playing in Hall of Fame it's like what the fuck I could still do good, like, my stats are basically the same as I would be playing on, like, Superstar, All-Star, Pro. It's basically all the same. The only difference is my fucking team does not listen. Like, literally, my team does not listen. They'll have wide open looks at threes, pass out the shot. They'll have wide open drives and straight up miss or, like, hit under the basket, under the backboard, make it go out of bounds. It's just out of hand. Like, I don't know how some people could successfully win championships on Hall of Fame mode like my com the computer just doesn't listen to me like I still play good as hell with my player it's just everyone else around me just sucks and the opponent CPU just gets so disgusting it's just not right so I play on superstar mode or whatever it is what it is I'm not gonna be like one of them dudes that lie and say it's like on Hall of Fame when really they're playing like on pro difficulty and shit anyway here is the game. First quarter is coming to an end. Like I said, I edited a, a lot of clips out or whatever. Like, I want to make these videos shorter with my player be just because of the fact, like, my player games are long, especially since I do, like, eight-minute quarters or whatever. Look at this guy. Look at this boss. Look at this boss spinning. Got him jumping. Drew the foul. What we got here. Let's see what happens. Come on, man. How does that go in? That should not go in. I don't care what difficulty it's on. Shots like that should not go in, but it does. Look at that butter right there. What else we got? Oh, nice little turnover. So that's another thing. In my player mode, man, don't expect me to have, like, under three turnovers. I average at least seven turnovers a game. It doesn't matter what difficulty I'm playing on. Because obviously you guys see some of the passes I be doing. It's very forced. Regardless, I still make it work. I still I still make shit happen. So like, you guys can't really say much. Like, I don't really have difficulty playing this at all. Like, it's just not fair. Another reason why I don't really like my player, man, I guess, is because like... The computer has way too many, like, tendencies. Like, once you start knowing all the tendencies, man, you could, like, easily work around it. You could get, like, eight steals a game. It's just out of hand. That's why I like playing ranked matches better, man, because it's, like, at least with the ranked world, it's, like, everybody plays differently, so you're always going to be, like, surprised. You know what I mean? You got to stay You gotta stay on your toes. Let's see what we got here. The boss doing some dribbles. Just puts it up. Look at that butter. Look at the boss dribbling. Oh, that was pretty forced, but it goes in. Look at that forced pass. And it was a beautiful pass because it went through. I don't care if it's forced. Look at that steal. That's one of the tendencies, man. Like, they be just bad passes, man. It's just easy to read, easy to see, easy to steal. Only if I could successfully score off of the turnovers. Look at this three. One of my rare threes. Because you guys saw my rating. My three is only rated a 69. And I'm still draining threes. Look at those ball shoes. Look at those shoes. 60 to 60 going into the fourth. I don't even remember if I won or lost this game. I have like so many uh, my player games banked up and edited already. Like I'm just about to put up nothing but my player games from now on I think. 
I've been getting way too many friend requests, way too many comments about people that want to play me. It's just like, I don't got time for that shit, man. I don't want to play you. I don't want to waste my time and play you. Then again, some people I did play, it's like, some of them actually gave me real good competition. So I can't really speak up too much on that. Like, I don't want to downplay that. But it's just like, man, I'm too busy for that shit, man. Every time I jump on Xbox, I'm literally recording something in some way, shape, or form. So it's like, what the fuck? Anyway, I fouled out, so this game ended early. And we came up with the win. Thank God the computer was able to hold it down. Look at these stats. 23 points, 3 turnovers, not bad. 3 steals, 4 assists. Your team still holds the advantage up 2-1 going into game 4. Is there a sense of confidence in the locker room right now? Or is the team beginning to feel some of the pressure that goes along with playing in the postseason? Yeah, I'd say there's definitely a sense of confidence. Extreme confidence. We never had any intention of losing this series, and that hasn't changed. I know you guys expect a team with a player of my caliber to come in and sweep every series, but that's just not realistic. Come on, people. This is a team game, and as much as I may be able to impact things on any given night, you still have to realize that there are nine other people out there on the court with me. 